What's up, everyone? Good morning. Happy Labor Day. Labor Day. We are down here by the Shinnecock Canal, Hampton Bays, Especonic Bay out there. And then if you go up through here, you can see it up there. You got the locks up there. We did some videos from the locks in the past where the, uh, they changed the water level from the uh, one bank to the other. Good morning, Dawn. So it's Labor Day. It's the uh, last unofficial day of summer. And uh, summer went fast. It goes faster every, every, every year. Seems like uh, the older you get, the faster everything goes. I guess that's just from being busy. But um, a lot of people don't know what Labor Day is about. So uh, I heard a couple people talk, oh, you know, Labor Day, what's that all about? Well, Labor Day uh, was started in the late 1800s, uh, basically by labor unions. So um, labor unions brought us the eight-hour work day, the five-day work week, and um, all that type of stuff, work rules and all that stuff that uh, kind of made working um, safe and whatnot. And so you didn't work 100 hours a week. And it really was a good thing in its time. Um, Hard carrying local 28 10 knocker myself. Uh, unions have done a lot for my family. That's basically where we got started. And uh, grandfather, father, everyone union. But um, I also will digress on the fact that the uh, unions um, have kind of stopped a lot of people from trying. Um, and that force of average thing that comes in. Um, unions dictate how much guys make. Uh, women make and <clears throat> the problem you have is that if everybody's making a hundred dollars an hour and one guy's working harder than the other guy they say why am I working so hard this guy works for the same uh, money that I do yeah there's people that get paid over scale and they get bonuses and stuff like that so there is you know there is acknowledgement of guys that work harder but the problem is is that the minimum standard is a certain level so uh just like uh, we talk about in government, when people are getting handouts, why try? Why try anymore? So when everyone makes the same money, you know, one guy's playing on his phone and, uh, you know, doing everything wrong and everything has to get redone. Um, the guys that, that are good and that succeed that want to work hard uh, tend to lay back and tend to say, why am I working so hard when this guy is getting paid the same money as I am and he's playing on his phone and he's taking 80 bathroom breaks and all the other stuff that goes on. So um, unions, I think, had a good effect uh, when they first came around. They still do, um, but it also has had a bad effect because it protected a lot of people that don't want to work, just like uh, our unemployment is protecting a lot of people that don't want to work. Um, there's a huge labor shortage out there right now. If you talk to anybody out in the world about, um, you know, everybody's looking for people to work. And why? Because... Our government's paying them to stay home. So, um, something to really think about. Um, it's real easy for people in life to excel uh, that want to because a lot of people are happy being average. A lot of people are happy doing minimum work for minimum pay. A lot of people are doing, are happy uh, sitting home getting paid. Uh, yeah, you can go out and work some more. Um, there's doing on there. Um, yeah. The problem with issues is it puts every the problem with unions is it puts everyone on this level playing field, which can be good, but it can be bad. It gives you the opportunity, but it also protects those that don't want to work. So that's my rant today for Labor Day. Labor Day, we're here celebrating uh, the labor movement, uh, which is a good thing. I mean, labor built this country. Um, you know, the bridges, the roads, everything, the buildings, everything this country in this country was built mostly by, uh, especially in the cities, by union labor. And that union labor, you know, dictated working conditions, and eight-hour days and five-hour, five-day work weeks and all that stuff. But uh, there's also a negative effect that it has. Um, this force of average has really crept up and, and really caused havoc in our society where people are happy just being average. People are happy doing minimum work. People are happy uh, getting minimum pay. And uh, it's up to us to break that cycle, break that cycle. Don't be that person settling for average. Don't be that person settling for minimum pay. Um, get out there and, and change the world. Um, get stuff done. Be a leader. Um, set the example. Set the pace. Set the tone of 
where life should be. And um, you'll rise above. Guys talk to me and they say, oh, why should I work so hard? You know, this guy's uh, doing the same thing. Because you know what? When it gets slow, that guy will work. He'll work year round, round the clock. Whereas the guy that um, is slacking, we're taking notes. We know who's slack. And sometimes it's really busy and you need every person you can get. And it's so hard to find labor uh, that you kind of take whatever you can get because it's better than nothing. But sometimes nothing is better. Um, so if you're one of those workers that's getting stuff done, just keep getting stuff done. Your bosses, your management uh, acknowledges that. They know who works. They know who doesn't work. They know who's hiding. They know who the slackers are. Um, stand out in the crowd, make a difference, uh, get into management, get above, raise your, raise your level, raise your pay and, uh, and build your machine. So that's the message of the day. Labor day, unofficial end of summer. Don't like it, but here we are. All right. So let's jump on some prayers. Your father, son, Holy spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, please look all over all the workers out there in the world, the people that get stuff done, the people that aren't happy being average, the people that aren't happy uh, doing minimum work, the guys that, and the women that exceed and excel and, um, and lead. Um, God bless them. Um, please help everyone else to uh, break that force of average and Get out there and do the work and get out there and change the world and get out there and make a difference. Um, that amen. Getting on with our day. Starting out a little overcast here, but it's always a beautiful day out here. Hope everyone's enjoying uh, your last day of summer. Um, next weekend, going up to Lake George for the Adirondack Nationals. We're bringing the uh, hot rod wagon up and we're going to go cruise around Lake George. So we'll be up there and obviously I got to bring a bike up. We'll be riding up there. And the week after that, I'm going back to Texas to see my Apex family over there. Um, yeah, back Wednesday to Saturday, we'll be back in Texas. So my Apex people and entrepreneurs, I will see you two weeks. Looking forward to that. So we got a busy two weeks coming up. Uh, got some new listings coming up. Got some new stuff in the works. And uh, all good stuff. This is it. Living a dream. We ride every day. We ride at dawn. No matter what happens in life, get up and ride. Fire starts fire. Be an inspiration to someone get that moving. All right, everyone, God bless. We'll see you soon. Go check out my new group on Facebook. We Ride at Dawn 365. I invited a bunch of you. If I missed you, go find it. Facebook groups, We Ride at Dawn 365. I share these messages and some other stuff in there. And uh, just a lot of us to share some positivity and some, uh, some good stuff. So go check it out. All right, everyone, be good.